is multi-award-winning singer and songwriter Kenny Wayne, known as the Blues Boss. And he's here to t- today to talk about his accomplished music career, his latest album, Go Just Do It, and what is next for him. Welcome! Oh, well, thank you for having me. <laughs> wow, so... I wanted to congratulate you. You were recently um, awarded 2020 Western Canadian Music nominee. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's fantastic. So where were you when you heard the news? Um, at home. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, um, you know, I'm on the Internet quite a bit, and uh, I usually... Uh, uh, sometimes I get an email and someone says congratulations, you know, and I deliver that can I sort of uh, look and see. But you know, this is the West Coast, so I, I, I sort of get it, you know, at the right time. Uh, if it's East Coast, you know, then 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 things are kind of I got it, uh, well, they get it before I do, right? So, uh, but uh, I, I think th- through the through an email message that I, that I was. Uh, one of the nominees, so that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. And I know all the, all the nominees are great, great musicians as, as well. Yes, and congratulations. And I I wanted to, uh, you know, tell our listeners, like, uh, let's talk about your passion for music. When did it begin, and how did you get the name The Blues Boss? Um, okay, well, the passion came quite, quite a while ago when I started quite young um, and, uh, and and I was my musical career actually started in, in church gospel music mm-hmm. um, so that's that's where my, my passion or my, my I should say my roots uh, started me from before I started venturing out you know into, into the wilderness but um, uh, I started playing piano at eight. And then um, I think I think uh, I made a decision when I was you know early teens, mid teens, um, that uh, music uh, was a fulfilling career. I mean, I did do a lot of other stuff. I had other jobs and stuff, but I I, I got my my uh, my passion, you know, working with different musicians uh, locally and and then working with some national musicians as well. So. <clears throat> Um, just to see uh, and, and enjoy um, traveling and getting some, uh, getting awards and things, getting recognition, I guess, uh, by the, by my, my peers and by the audience. So that's great. Mm-hmm. And you were you originally from Spokane, Washington. Is that right? Yeah, I was. I, I was born in Spokane. Mm-hmm. Yes, but we 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 went from Spokane quite young uh, to New Orleans. Yes. And um, I would say most of my, my education, school education, had been between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Wow. And um, that's, I mean, you've been to New Orleans, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Um, yeah. And your father was. Well, my dad, a, oh, sorry. He was a minister. Mm-hmm. So he, he, he was a minister. Um, um, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm what, what you call a war baby, so yes. Um, so I, uh, uh, my father was in the, was in the war. We moved from Spokane, where I was born. He was stationed in Seattle, uh, so he was able to stop and see me. And then we went back to uh, my mother and I went back to New Orleans for uh, the time until my dad was discharged from the army. In San Francisco, and then he, be, he went to school, went to college, and and became a minister. And and from then we just moved. We stayed in San Francisco, and then we moved to uh, Los Angeles, which was my last. Uh, uh, well, not my I guess not my last space back residence, but because when I got older, in my twenties, I moved back to San Francisco. But I I, I, I love San Francisco. Uh, 
but that was my last stateside residence before I moved to Canada. Mm -hmm. And what was your first musical instrument? Uh, piano. Mm -hmm. but the piano has always been my, you know, and I, I also played organ as well. Um, uh, but it, mostly the keys, you know, I stayed with the keys. I, I didn't didn't have the patience. I guess it, it, it takes patience to to, uh, to to learn something that is a little challenging, right? And um, um, since people would always hire me for you know uh, something I knew how to play well, yes. <laughs> with the piano. And, uh, you know, they didn't have the patience to wait. I didn't have the patience to practice. So, um, you know, I got, I just got uh, used to playing uh, the piano and, and, uh, and organ, you know, and, and keys, basically, you know, electric piano and clavinet and all those things. Um, uh, but but basic, basically, that I do have a trumpet, which I thought I might uh, try to play, but... Um, uh, it's, wow. just, uh, it's, just, it's just sitting on the shelf. <laughs> wow. I mean, and, uh, yeah, you're so multi-talented. Um, I mean, it's, it's um, but you, both parents, like you come from a musical background, right? And, and um, was it something you've always wanted to, to be a musician, a successful musician that you are? And um can you tell us, like, what was it like playing in the, like, in the early '60s, uh, you know, in clubs? And can you tell us about that? Uh, you know, there was a lot of music. I, I was always a, a part of uh, uh, people putting together, you know, mostly dance bands. I guess uh, mm. back then, because you know that was was the only way you'd actually get paid. Mm. Um, you know. You know uh, so I, I started I started when I was uh, pretty much in high school. Pretty much uh, I was a, a, a senior or a junior in high school. That's kind of when I started getting involved with with different bands and backing up different you know doo wop singers and stuff like that. Uh, I never I never really chose to do to to go that way uh, as a career because I never really uh, never. Which my group that actually would stay together. Mm. And some 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 guys, uh, you know, I, I I had that problem for years. Uh, you know, have, keeping people liking each other after they get a little bit of success. Um, that's mm. the big challenge uh, with a lot of lot of lot of bands. And sometimes it, you know it clicks where you know you start together and you and you work together and you agree, uh, and then you become. Famous, and then of course, when you become famous, and you break up and do something you really love with it, right? You do your own thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I did that. I did that for years, and and, and made you know decisions, uh, bad decisions, as far as staying with groups and not looking after myself. But I, but as far as blues boss, that came. Um, oh, let's see. I guess I got. To, I, I would. I really became. Devoted to blues, I should say, more than genre, because I've mm. always played varieties of stuff. Played Latin music, jazz, you know, R and B, and all types of stuff, and with different bands. But the blues came around in mid nineties mm. uh, when I went to Spain and, and I started playing a lot of a lot of beautiful Spanish music by Nat King Cole. Wow, and uh, and then I started playing, and then I had a request that, you know, they would say that I was a very polite person and an entertainer, but they wanted to hear some blues, so I hadn't played a lot of blues, so I, you know, um, I think with a, with a good, strong gospel background, it's really easy to move right into blues, because mm -hmm. they're very similar. So uh, I think at that point, I started getting recognition, and I came back and I recorded my first record in 1990. Uh, 1995. And you know, you have seven Maple Blues Awards, your uh, Juno Award, um, Boogie Woogie Piano Hall of Fame in Cincinnati. Um, anything else? Like three Living Blues Magazine Keyboard Awards, and the list goes on. So, um, it, it, documentary, documentary, uh, yeah. Boogie yeah. Woogie documentary, 
Yes. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few other ones that I've got. I'm looking at yeah, so my I wall. <laughs> um, um, but I, you know, I, I, I treasure them all for sure. And, mm-hmm. and um, it's, 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 a, it's an honor. You know, and I, I think the, my move to Canada back in 19, I think I moved to Canada in 81. And that was, that was uh, my best move mm. um, because I think I began to be more focused musically than what uh, my journey should be about I mean there's there's a there, there's a uh, I guess a reason so, you know sometimes you run into people uh, you know by by chance and maybe they're supposed to be there at a certain time you're supposed to be there and you run into these people and they uh inspire you in some kind of way or bring a message to you mm. and uh, I, i've always i've been always uh spiritual like that you know you, people you meet people for a reason and, uh, yes and, and that reason i mean it just coming to canada opened up a whole lot of opportunities um and meeting a lot of people that i've met here mm-hmm. um um, and, you know, that, that's been a really good inspiration in the start. I mean, that, that, that whole, my whole movement, my, the fact that I'm getting phone calls and interviews, you know, never happened my, in my years, in, in all my years of playing music before. Uh, but since I moved to Canada and, uh, and got a focus in music, now I get calls from Christine. <laughs> I, get, I get calls from all these people that, you know, you know, look at my, how our music is is influencing, and, and uh, people are, are aware of, know more about me than I know about myself. <laughs> um, and mm-hmm. that's, I think that's that's a great thing. So that I I really thank Canada for uh, for having me and being here. So that's that's perfect. Um, I think about. Uh, you probably want to know about my, 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 my new record. Yes, and I can't wait. Go just do it, right? Uh, yeah. Well, my mother used to say, my, my mother, would, she'd always uh, tell me, just just, just do it. You mm. know, I, I would, you know, when I am when, when I was trying to decide what to do, and, and she said, Get, find your passion, just do, don't, and she'd always say, don't listen to your dad. Just, 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 just go do what you want to do. And uh, my dad always, he, he, he didn't uh, necessarily want me to go into the music business because he knew there was so much competition and there was so much negative things in that, that I could encounter and should go into a business where I could get a job and raise a family and all that stuff. So uh, my mother, she was, she was totally different. She, she, she said, just, you know, you know, you'll, you'll take care of your family. You just go, go, just go do, do it. What you mm-hmm. want. So that came, you know, after many, many, many years after I just, that sort of came to me, um, in the morning. I said, oh, just go do it. So I thought about her and I thought about that song. So that, that's, that's the, the title and, and the title is basically just, just, uh, uh, whatever your passion is, just, just go for it. Don't listen to someone telling you, you know, the, the, the downfalls and the pitfalls because you can always find people to have pitfalls, but you can also find people who are very successful and that's the ones you want to listen to. Mm. So, um, um, but so it starts off like that. And then of course the music sort of goes into, you know, different stories and different, um, uh, different styles because I wanted to have uh, I didn't want to have just one side I mean I, I definitely uh, you know am a boogie woogie guy but I, you know after after a while it's just you know there's, there's more sides to me than just boogie woogie um, mm-hmm. there's you know there's there's a little bit of jazz there's a little bit of swing there's a little bit of uh, R&B a little bit of funk you know, and, and so I wanted to put a bunch of spices on the table 
which really worked out really good because I got lots of support from the, from the label and, uh, and lots of support from the musicians that I worked with, and I included my son mm-hmm. um, uh, on, on a song that was written by a, a, a legendary blues man, Percy Mayfield, uh, and I, I, I rearranged the song. Um, and uh, I thought, well, this is a great song. I don't want to be the president. Yes. It's perfect for 2020. Yes. The elections and everybody else coming. Everybody wants to change. And I thought, well, this, this is this is perfect. Now, how can I really get this message out? And I thought, uh, I need a young person to, to, to actually say something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I took out one of my piano solos. I said, well, "Okay, I, that's nice, nice piano solo. That doesn't really get, get any recognition." So I, I, I call my son, and uh, and he's he's kind of a rap artist, uh, and he lives in Sacramento, California, and he's really good. And so I listen to some of his stuff, and I said, "Corey, I said I have a song, and I want you to put a rap key to it." <laughs> uh, talking about the song, mm-hmm. and uh, and then you you know I'm sure you get your buddies and get everybody excited about it, and uh, he was so thrilled. So he put a little rap to it, and uh, it worked out really good. It's, it's uh, gaining on the charts, which is fantastic. Yes, and uh, yeah, I love. And so we decided we're going to do. A, I said, why don't we do a video? Do a video, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and so we did a video. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of put a script together, a script. And I have a friend that's in Toronto, a filmmaker, and he said, I'll put it together for you. And so he put it together and uh, came out, and uh, it came out really good. Fantastic. And, and that's getting quite a bit of attention, which I, I hoped it did. Um, but I think that's, that's, that's pretty much So I have a mixture, kind of a mixture of, of songs, and of course I end up with a with the traditional boogie woogie everybody wants to hear uh, that knows me. A little bit of boogie woogie, and I have you know some songs that tell about people and and stories, right? Hmm. Where can people um, watch the video and and you know buy the record, the album? Where can they go? Uh, well, Amazon has the Amazon. I think Amazon has both. They mm. have both. The record, the single as well. Uh, Amazon. Uh, it's it's on Stony Plain Records, so yes. they would have it on their website. Also, uh, it would be under uh, uh, True North would also have it. Uh, uh, Stony Plain and True North records are combined now. Um, and uh, yeah, Spotify. Uh, so I, I I actually have two two videos. Um, the title track, Go Just Do It. And then I have the second one is, uh, I Don't Want to Be the President. Yes, and I love both. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> so people uh, listening, they haven't had a chance uh, watch the video, listen to your music. It is. Uh, because it's 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 very inspiring, and your son Corey is in. I don't want to be president. Um, it's just uh, it's entertaining. It's uh, it has all like you said spices, like you know what you what you offer, and it's uh, it's amazing. And so, what is what is next for you? Your next? Mm. <laughs> uh, that book. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> well, maybe um, you know, I don't know. I I think just uh, writing some more songs. I really enjoy writing. Um, I've got quite a few songs that you know, due to this virus and and uh, being confined at home, I was mm-hmm. able to to look to to look at some of the unfinished songs I've written and uh, sort of wow. Uh, worked on, you know, some of it um, um, sort of dated, but I, I can, I can, I, I think I like, to, I like to include uh, harmonies. I love harmonies, um, and uh, and some of my friends that are, that that uh, may not get the most attention and, and probably involve my son 
some more in his his uh, his rap mm. um, career. Yes, um, not all the songs, but I, I like the I like the connection with the generations. I like the generation because there's, there's because they listen to they get a nice beat um, and a nice song and some nice lyrics and some nice piano solos, but they seem to really be attractive to someone that is, is, is uh, performing uh, something that they're used to hearing, uh, which is a kind of a rap cadence. I call, I call it rap cadence because it's kind of a, you know, it's, it's really cool. I mean, I could never, I could never write that many words to a song, but he's, he's written yeah. so many words to that song, which is only 16 bars, more than my <laughs> whole song. Um, but he's really talented. And, uh, and it's kind of a family thing. And so I'm going to, you know, include him in, in a few. I, mean, I did write a song before, um, which I've been encouraged to put it out, My Little Peach. That's about my daughter. Mm. And he did a rap, a very good rap to that, uh, too. Uh, but it didn't get the same attention as this, this one does. I think because of the timing mm-hmm. and the president. And all this stuff like that, but but it may be it may be while people are are at home and not doing a lot, not too busy doing everything else, they may listen to uh, some of the stuff that I did previous years. So I, I might work on that and bring some of that out. No, oh. that might some, that might surprise people, you know. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I I want to thank you very much for taking the time you. out. You know. Thank you very much. And so you're in Vancouver, right? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. And you're in okay. Kelowna, right? Is I'm that in Kelowna? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a pleasure. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for you for calling, and uh, hello, free. Looking forward to chatting with you. Yes. And uh, now it's done, so uh, we'll keep in touch. Yes, I would love that. Oh, can, I, can I give you my web page number? Oh yes, please do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so www. Mm-hmm. KennyBluesBoss.com. Thank you. Thanks so much, and right. uh, we'll uh, we'll do it again. <laughs> okay. All right. Be safe. Yeah. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye.